at times it may be necessary to filter a large set of data down to particular items. Filtering is enabled by the filter icon that looks like a funnel. To toggle between showing and hiding the filter feature, click the filter button. Notice the filter buttons that appear inside the headers row. Now we can filter the information on our grid. To show, for example, only prescriptions written by Dr. Feelgood, click the filter button next to the prescriber. First, uncheck the All filter and then select Dr. Feelgood. The chosen filter icon becomes solid, indicating that this column's filter is active. Only prescriptions written by Dr. Feelgood now appear in our grid. Multiple prescribers can also be chosen. To return to all prescribers, simply click on the filter again and select all. This time let's filter by patient. I'll choose to filter my data and only show prescriptions for broccoli and Beverly Hills. Many of the features offered in Microsoft Excel are integrated into the Pioneer Rx transaction grid. One such feature is the ability to perform basic math operations using the Sigma Totals feature. Simply click on the Sigma icon at the top of your grid to enable this feature. Notice that the Sigma Totals button now appears in each column. Math functions such as average and sum will only work on numerical columns and will not be available for selections in non-numerical columns. The count, maximum, and minimum functions will work on any column. To see how many scripts my pharmacy filled, I simply click on the Sigma button in the Dispensed Item column and select Count. When I scroll to the bottom, I'm able to see my results. Grouping allows information to be organized by grouping rows with similar values together, just like Microsoft Outlook. To group by a particular column, click and drag that column header into the grouping area located above the header row. I'll choose the Pharmacist column and drag it to the grouping area. The grid will reformat showing only what's been grouped. From this screen, data can be broken down even further. To see, for example, the total number of prescriptions filled per pharmacist, I click on the totaling icon and then select count. Now I'm able to see the total number of dispensed items per pharmacist. To remove and return to the grid, grab the column title and drag it out of the grouping area.